Hey guys! Today I'm going to review the new Avengers episode and this one's called The Last of the Cybernauts. The Last of the Cybernauts was broadcast on the 2nd of November 1976. It's from Season 1, Episode 3. The new Avengers lasted for two seasons and 26 episodes, from 1976 to 1977. And the third season was planned, but was abandoned because they couldn't afford it. The last of the Cybernauts is the last in the Cybernauts trilogy. The first one was from the Avengers, called the Cybernauts. This was from season 4, episode 3, from 1965. And the second was called Return of the Cybernauts from the Avengers, season 5, episode 17, from 1967. The Last of the Cybernauts was directed by Sidney Hears and written by Brian Clemens. It runs 50 minutes... It was adapted into a comic strip in 1978 for the New Avengers Annual, titled The Cybernauts. This was an 8-page comic strip. The Last of the Cybernauts stars Patrick McNee as John Stade, Gareth Hunt as Mike Gambert, Joanna Lumley as Purdy, and Robert Lang as Felix Kean. So this is the final story of the Cybernauts trilogy. A double agent called Felix Kane is horribly disfigured while being chased by the new Avengers. A year later he returns and forces this man to reactivate the Cybernauts that he finds in a warehouse. The double agent is now disfigured and is in a wheelchair. He uses different masks to suit his mood as he's gone insane. He eventually uses the technology of the Cybernauts so he turns into a human cybernaut and goes after revenge. So I've got mixed reactions for this story as I was really hyped up after the first two. The episode starts off well with this great car chase. So there's lots of action in the new Avengers and the title sequence and the music's very action packed. It gets you into the mood. Another good thing about this story is there's a lot of good continuity with the two previous Cybernaut stories. It's mentioned that it's 10 years since he last faced the Cybernauts, John Stade. The creator Armstrong's mentioned, who was played by Michael Goff in the first story. Even Emma Pale's mentioned. So this story kind of bridges the gap between the Avengers and the new Avengers by having a return and villain and lots of continuity. I love the scene where the villain finds the, the old warehouse where the... The Cybernauts are kept and he reactivates them. Reminds us a little bit of Tomb of the Cybermen from Doctor Who. So he's a great villain, Felix Cairn, in this story where he changes his mask because he's disfigured, putting on different masks. So if he's in a bad mood, he'll put a, a miserable face on. Or if he's in a happy mood, he'll put a jolly mask on. A man's face betrays his thoughts. Don't you agree? It's great that Patrick McNeigh's in this as John Stade. Even though he's older by 10 years, he still looks good and he's always cool and good to watch. There's even the scene where he's playing snooker. Well, you didn't learn that at Eton. No. But a proficiency at snooker is another sign of a misspent youth. Hey, does John Stade think he's fucking Alex Higgins? <laughs> And I thought Joanna Lumley was good as well as Purdy. She looks great, although she doesn't have the same chemistry as Diana Rigg had playing Emma Pale. I thought her and John Stade were brilliant together in The Avengers. I think Joanna Lumley's best as Sapphire in Sapphire and Stale. But she's still good in this. There's a scene where she climbs over a fence. Bones was happy because he, he said he saw a knickers. Come on, Phil! You can say a knickers! <laughs> Gareth Hunt doesn't work very well though as Gambard, so he's kind of like the weak link of the three regulars. It's a pity it wasn't John Stade and Purdy. I think this show works best when there's just two leads. Three, it's too much of a crowd. So he kind of lets the show down, there's no chemistry, and he comes across as bland. Not much personality. Hey Phil, that's that bugger out of them coffee commercials. Yes, he did, Bones. He used to be in coffee commercials. 
It's one of those times when you find out who your friends are. Make sure you're serving coffee at its best. I think you should stick to making them fucking coffee commercials. Oh my. Gambit! Oh. Hello, Freddy. Hey, that's not where you keep the bloody coffee beans, the dirty bugger. <laughs> Another silly thing is the villains got cutouts and publicity photos of the three regulars in, the, in his headquarters. So I don't know how he managed to get these um, cutouts of them posing. Steed. John Steed. Did he buy the fuckers off a beer? But I did enjoy it. However, after a first good half, it kind of loses its way towards the end. There's a, like a silly ending. The villain thinks he can use cybernetics to destroy the regulars, having new arms and legs. Fifty men? A hundred? And with this, I am virtually bulletproof. And the ending's a bit lame, where they just use spray, this liquid skin. So they've all got a spray can each. And the, the stop him from being able to move. I thought that was like a poor ending to the episode, which is a shame. Because I was really enjoying it. So overall, I was disappointed watching it. It's not a patch off the first two stories. With a disappointing ending and the character of Gambit is unnecessary. It's a pity they didn't drop him. So out of ten, I'll give this one eight. Eight out of ten. But they think you want to do like it. I enjoyed the bugger feel, the hard to play is bugger. Especially the bit where you say Purdy's knickers. So now that I've reviewed the three Cybernaut stories, I'll put them in order, a preference. So in third place, I'll put Last of the Cybernauts. Like I said in the review, it's got a disappointing ending. And the character of Gambit's a bit disappointing as well. It should have been just John Steed and Purdy. It might have worked better. In second place... I'll put the Cybernauts. I thought this was excellent. It almost got the top spot. Excellent television and the Cybernauts look great. Even though it's shot in black and white. The Avengers does look good in black and white somehow. It's got like a moody look to it. Diana Riggs excellent in the Avengers. I'll put that one in second place. And in first place, I'll put Return of the Cybernauts. This is definitely my favourite of the three. It's in colour, it looks very colourful, but what uh, gives it the edge over the Cybernauts, the first one, is that Peter Cushion's in. So he elevates it to top spot. And not only that, but he's really sinister in it. Like a, a really sadistic character he is in this one. So that's definitely my favourite of the, the three Cybernaut stories. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Like, subscribe and share. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Why are you lurking out there? I'm not lurking. Well, not now, but you were. Your whole attitude is one of pure and positive lurk. This cafe has that special blend. <laughs> <laughs> that richest smoother taste.